There's not much to harvest off the West Bank's olive trees this year. There's been no rain, and Israel diverts underground water to illegal settlements, making it hard for Palestinian farmers to compensate. Product quality is affected when we are prevented from entering our lands for cleaning, weeding and to take care of our plants. It turns into semi-desertified land and olive trees become weak since we can't clean around them. We can't feed them with fertilizer. The Almathloum family farms just a dozen or so metres from an illegal Israeli settlement. They say settlers have sometimes thrown stones and tried to stop them from carrying out the harvest. This Palestinian village is surrounded by the ever-expanding illegal settlements. Israel says security concerns mean they must manage access to many olive groves. But that stops Palestinians from making a living and forces them to find work elsewhere. And if Palestinians don't give up farming, some settlers just set the olive trees on fire. The mayor of one West Bank district says settlers and soldiers watched for hours as volunteers battled a fire here three weeks ago. Because when the settlers come, the soldiers can work with them. So, uh, uh, for, uh, for this case, we couldn't uh, the defense uh, the, the soldier. We have to stay here. This is our area. They should go out. Burning olive trees is a common settler tactic because what happens afterwards is that when the Palestinians try and plant new trees, the Israeli military usually stops them. So then the settlers say, well, the land is abandoned, so we're going to build here. Of course, under international law, it's irrelevant whether there are olive trees on here or not. Israel is illegally occupying this land. The Romans were the first to cultivate olives here. For thousands of years, this fertile land has provided food and income for the families that work it. But if the settlers have their way, there'll be nothing left for the next generation of Palestinians to farm. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, in the occupied West Bank.